Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Konnichiwa and welcome to the Sloppy Joes podcast. What do you think that means? Hello. In Japanese. I think you might be right, actually. Hey, hello! Hello, hello. Oh. This is the Slob Jobs Podcast. Oh. New Year, new us. See, the problem Same is... Same shite. The problem is, last week's episode came out after the New it Year. It did, didn't it? I have to remember that. But we were still in the Gooch period of Christmas yeah, and New Year. the whole Gooch. Uh, and uh, less itchy this week, by the Loads way. Loads has been happening, though, Joe. So much has been happening. We've got so much to talk about. So much to get through. I can't wait to throw stuff at you. What do you mean? Ideas, verbs, words. Your penis? Mm, Could you throw your penis? Uh, Only an inch or so. Ethan James, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much slack in the rope, if you know what I mean. (laughs) Ethan James, how you doing? Hello, Drew. Another episode, another day. Hello. You look lovely today. Uh, Yes, I've been using um, some new moisturiser. Oh, is this a Christmas gift? It is a Christmas gift. It's uh, Clinique. Has it got a tanning quality to it? Because you look slightly darker than well, usual. Well, well, it is quite dark, the moisturiser itself, so I don't know. Can it be infused with makeup? Is that a thing? Of course it is. <laughs> so when you say moisturiser, is it moisturiser or is it actually just fake tan? You're wearing fake tan? I don't know now. Would you Would you even go in the sunbeds? Um, I, I prefer, like, frolicking around in the pool or, like... No, 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 you're <laughs> okay. What the fuck? It wasn't would like, you go on a what's, your, what's your favourite thing? It's like, oh, would you go on a sunbed? I prefer Cool Original, to be honest with you. But I need, I need to read those. No, the specific question is, would you go on a sunbed? I like an not, sun lounger. Not, do you prefer a pool? Oh, oh, sorry, not like being UV on a sunbed. UV and stuff. Oh, no, I'm not into that artificial crap. In you'd the, uh, you'd do something, wouldn't you? UV lights, who would win? You definitely... That was a good joke, and I deserve something Someone for Someone will credit you in the comments. UV versus light. You've defo been on a sunbed for a certain health reason or something you've read 100%. You're, you're a bag of shit. First. I'm not a bag of shit. Secondly, we'll get into my new health regime and just how well it's going in a minute. But no, I've never been on a sunbed, thank you. Would you go on it? No, because they're all the old skinny sea. <laughs> you know, it's literally... Like, imagine going on Skinny a Skinny C used to be your nickname. Skinny C used to be my nickname. You don't want to know what C stands for. <laughs> um, but you just think it's literally just begging for skin cancer, isn't it? Yeah. Like, but, I hate to say that, but it is. Come but on. your your part. Your, let's get into your health routine then, because it was established last week on the show. Mm-hmm. I want to go in your health routine because, you know, we've been doing stuff today. We'll get on to. Yeah. Um, you want to stand in front of the sun pretty much straight away, don't you? You wake up in the morning, bang, daylight. Yeah. I want my body to go... Hi, hi, God, and God goes. Oh, he's so fucking annoying already. And he's <laughs> so annoying already. So basically, I enter what is known in sort of fitness circles as. I don't know how to describe it to you, but you it, know, hold it's on, hold on, hold on. Why of, did you say that with such confidence? Essentially, a state of being that you are not privy to. You sit there, presumably on a, a sofa or in a ditch somewhere. Feeding yourself chicken wings with your grubby little fingers. Not anymore. Whereas I ascend. Okay. I look down on you. <laughs> flapping my wings as I glide. Basically glide around town. So this how point. is it going? Huh? How is it going? I'm some of the most tired I've ever been. Right. Yeah, because <laughs> Today. <laughs> because this new health routine for anyone who didn't listen to last week's episode, it's basically get up in the morning, get in front of sunlight rapid. Mm. Don't have a coffee till 90 minutes in and then go to the gym slash cardio nine times a week. Yeah. So there is nine sort of, uh, what would you call them? Fitness sessions. Workouts. Workouts. So that is five in the gym plus another 10, sorry. Five in the gym what? plus another five um, cardio, whether that be a run or a walk or both. So today, for instance, was a big day. Massive day. Me and you met this morning. We did. Because I, re- I texted you the other day, like, what are you up to? And you're like, I'm going for a run. I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is that? Because that's not a thing. And you took the piss out of me. So I was like, let's go together. How well did you think I did, by the way? I was impressed. I bet you were, because I, I, I think he's going to think I'm going to buy out, bow out pretty soon. Yeah. I did get, I flapped by the last kilometer because yeah. I was like, this is the hardest of, oh, I can't be bothered running. Yeah. We got heckled by an old woman who said, "Get run faster, boys. I know. I needed that. Yeah, you did. I was only dying. But it was sensational. 
And yeah. I thought, why not follow that up with a, a workout at the gym? And since that workout, it's a, it's a weird feeling of my body is as weak as it's ever felt. Yeah. I okay, feel really? so drained. I feel sad. There's a, a sort of a whimper in my voice because I'm so just lacking. No, you look, you're sounding good. I think you're putting a lot on, to be fair. Putting a lot on. <laughs> but mentally, Joe. You little, little dun, fucking. Dun, you got dun, a little bit of jazz in dun, you. Dun, Is it jazz? Dun, 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 no jazz dun, left, dun, I've heard. Dun, dun. Ethan dun, James. Dun, dun. I'm feeling fantastic mentally. Love it. Honestly. No, right, I know actually, it is good mentally, isn't it? Can I, um, I started the day with a, a cold shower today, which is just part of the norm Fuck at this know. point, right? Because I just thought, I'm going to be 30 this year. But do you actually Go smell nice? It. What does that mean? When, like, when you have a cold shower, does it work well with your shower gel? I, I start with a hot shower and get oh. the cleaning done. It's only the last 90 seconds, which is cold. But today... Funny. I went. Sorry. 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 Never Today been. I went a little bit longer. Can I just play a little bit of a clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. Uh, Ethan, uh, you say uh, when we went to a meeting before you have cold showers, but for a different reason to Joe Smith. Um, for a different. Oh yeah, because obviously we only get about uh, twelve minutes of uh, hot water. I love how you say obviously, like in anyone would possibly yeah, know we, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. In your flat, you get twelve minutes hot water. How how long does your flatmate normally leave you? Well, we. are it, it's not our fault, you see, Drew, and I would never blame my housemate for this. He's pussyfooting around what he I'm told sorry. us in no, the No, 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 no. That's, 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 not, that's not true. Drew said that my housemate was grassing to him, saying I spend too long in the shower because I brush my teeth in there and therefore use up all the hot water. But I would say to the contrary, because I also experience <laughs> some cold water quite a lot, but uh, it's something that needs to be sorted. That's for sure. Back to you, Joe. Right, so this oh, has been the show. So, diplomatic. so at this point, I've spent one minute under the coldest tap pot. It's literally yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. probably at this point, six, seven degree water, because yeah. it's really cold. This is me for, yeah, 45 seconds in. A minute in. Friend. <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't stop saying the word friend. Friend. Are you is in a sort of trance? This isn't like minute two in the shower. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what does your body look like after a minute in the shower? Red. Bright red. Entering the room. Really? Of, yeah. <laughs> the if you don't mind me asking, what does, how does your downstairs react gone. to it? Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Red. That's everything gone. Red. It just <laughs> dribbles <laughs> inside. This is, this, I've just gone. I'm gone. <laughs> Wait. Red. Stop Where's this fucking timer? Where's this timer? Come on, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> so, does that sound like... Imagine being in bed and you're Lizzie, by the way, trying to sleep. So, uh, is that, was that happening? Yes. Come on, Jimmy. I got you up early. cold shower after your partner leaves. Nah. Sometimes she goes first, sometimes I go. Imagine being in bed and just hearing me shouting the word friend 40 times over and over again. You'd sound like you needed help. I don't know what happened. I enter, it's it's weird. You go to another place. Do you see hot showers being a thing of the past then? Well, no, I still do them. Someone said that on our comments on oh, Slob no. Joe's that they'd lost. No, they, they do cold showers all the time. And it saves them 500 quid a year on uh, electricity. It's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all, actually. I might start doing it. From the start, you come out so red. After That was after two minutes, I was bright red. Is it what's happening to your body then, for scientifically? So basically, essentially, what's supposed to happen is when you get cold your body then heats itself back up. Yeah. And that heating process wakes you up for the day. Yeah. So when you go to sleep at night, the coldest you ever are in the daytime throughout the 24 hour cycle is when you're asleep. That's your body temperature drops when you're asleep. Why? Because you're relaxing. You're I sometimes wake up freezing, do you even? Um, yeah, sometimes, yeah. See, He's exactly. not very much giving much answers. Not giving much away. So to simulate being awake, you, cool down your surface body temperature, which, which puts your core temperature up. So that simulates waking up. So it gives you this extra, extra oh, drive. Does it really? Yeah, I've not really closed my eyes <laughs> in about three days. But honestly, I can't believe it. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, but everything's happening. Well, I'm, year, so tired. I'm so tired, I'm so tired, I'm so sad. You're gonna be all right. I'm always right. sad. You're gonna be all right. Yeah. Just the thing about New Year, New Year's. Listen, if, if January's not your, your, like you don't have to feel pressure to like do New Year New Year's, do you know what I mean? Like I know some people maybe not want to start New Year New Year's. I find it a nice time to do a little bit of a reset. That's why I'm having a bit of a run, cutting back on, scranning, 
Um, back we, we were out and I had fish goujons. Yeah, Joe was on, Joe was on a diet, so we just had some deep fried fish and some well, pork yeah. belly. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, when you say it like that. But but I've got to be honest with you, it was the starters and it was like three fish goujons, which was so mini. They were small, and actually. three bites of uh, pork belly. Three which fish I, I regret the pork belly. How much were the fish goujons? They were eight quid for three, and so small as well. Not just larger than a fish finger, you'd say. I think about the same size. Really? You're starving, aren't you? No, I'm fine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, fine. We had... Uh, Becky likes to cook uh, cowboy beans. beans. It's cowboy beans. Cowboy beans. <laughs> What's we, that where she gets all the boys around and just get to see what happens in the pot? You know what I mean? No, no, no. There's no, there's no, there's no boys. It's like 10 or, 10 or 12 builders from next door. They come round. They all just put their bins oh, in it. Oh, them kind of cowboys. Oh. Uh, I'm talking she puts peppers in it. <gasps> peppers in the beans. Peppers in the and beans. And cheese. Fucking hell, radical. <laughs> Two extra ingredients. <laughs> Whoop, come on. Delia beans. Smith, watch your back. Oh, wash your back? No, watch. Oh. Do Ethan? you wash your back? Yeah. How? Thoroughly. No, not no, oh. not how well. F because you're... What do you mean, how? Right, two... If you right. turn and face the back of the shower... Turn and face the back. What? And, and you just put a little bit of shower gel on your back, then it's washing it. What 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 the fuck did turning and facing the back if of the you shower? Turn and do? face the back. What are you on about you? How you does, might edit how does the orientation of, of which you're standing affect the ease at which you because can wash your back? Because the shower is going on my back. So how do you get soap on your back? Because you know, like sumo just, wrestlers. I, I it like, do you know, like I was making a Sunday. Do you know, like sumo wrestlers <laughs> and bodybuilders? <laughs> do you know when you do the outside of the? <laughs> it was like Becky's like, why have you got marshmallows in the bath? <laughs> Why have you got a sparkler sticking out of your <laughs> collarbone? <laughs> I'm making Nick a bunch of glories in here, shut the door! Oh, God. What do you mean, like a Sunday? Like, like, like right, so imagine this, right, for the audio listeners, I got my back to the shower, the shower's behind me there, Okay. and it's battering me back. I love it, you know, fucking, wow, like that. Balls, pull back the foreskin, get in there. Stop oh, that. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, you got to do it though. Yeah, and well, for, the, for the other listeners, he was doing that to another set of balls, by the way. Yeah, 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 they're the cowboys. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> My time. Uh, and then, so, so then I get the shower gel. I'm using a lot of links at the minute because that was given to me as gift set. And I would open it, like pop the lid a little bit. Oh, open it. Thanks for letting us know how to fucking <laughs> Fuck open off. it. And I dribble it like a little bit like that. So but you I would do, do it in a, like a, a smooth so you do like wrist a, action. You do like a line across the top and just hope it drips down. Yes. Like this sort of icicles hanging outside someone's garage at Christmas. Yeah. And that's how much I wash my back. So you don't wash the middle or the bottom within any sort of hands-on sort of pedigree. I give it a scrub, yeah. I don't have a dirty back. But just because your back is really hairy, obviously, so yeah. it would therefore collect more bacteria. Would you, would, if you had this, if you had my back, what would you do? I'd probably, I'd probably have some sort of surgery. <laughs> oh, <he's>... <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, he's done you there. Yeah. Yeah. there. How's your week been? Uh, week's been good. I mean, we, we've not talked about each other's uh, New Year's Eves, and you had a lovely trip. To Dublin. I went to Dublin. We spoke um, to many Dubliners. We did a live show for Stratford Paddock, basically. Was it circus good? Tent. Was it a live show? It was good? incredible. Yeah. We turned up in the afternoon um, to like check out the tent. Yeah. It was so windy. The tent was like lifting off the ground. Really? All the sides were flapping. There was a disco ball that made me get a, almost a migraine when we were sort of doing the, 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 the sound check. And I thought... Was that flapping? I thought, no. Yeah, it was wobbling around in, this, in the wind. Shit. I thought we fucked here. It was freezing. Death, they were by, like, be, death by disco ball. I thought, oh, don't worry, boys, we'll sort it. I was like, I don't know if we will. We were just like off the side of the motorway in a big cowboy tent, not cowboy, circus tent. <laughs> um, but when we came back in the evening, they'd, everything had been tethered down. Yeah. It was warm. They, they had like nice. a big sort of hot air snake. What? Just a big hot air snake that was So it was nice and air. warm and it wasn't freezing. Toasty, roasty. Went out there, met so many nice people. That's lovely, isn't it? Honestly, it was so good. That's really lovely. So not as good as Sloppy Joe's live, obviously. Obviously, obviously. The flight over there is rapid, isn't it? 40 minutes on the way back. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's the I don't wind. think they turned the engines on. I just yeah. think it was like momentum. Do you know when you see those like marble games where it just goes... <whistles> I think they just do that. If You could probably go down a big ramp and just pop you over the Irish Channel. Or whatever Would you called. ever be a pilot? A pilot? No. Ethan, you'd be a good pilot. <clears throat> Um, would actually. Well, I, I, I don't really like planes. It freaks me out. They scare me a little bit. Do they? Why? 
Oh, just like the, the idea of it. I know, obviously, physics and things mean that we can fly and it all makes physics. sense, but the idea oh, of just being yeah. in... Physics. physics. That's it, yeah, it's physics. Yeah, like just being in like a, a, a metal tube just flying through the sky just mm. somehow still bemuses me a little bit. Have you ever had crazy turbulence? You've been to America quite a lot, and you? you fly, you've flown around the world. <laughs> you ever, I love that. You said, like, who am I fucking finished? You've flown around the world probably called. more than, you've probably got more air miles than and me and Ethan. Maybe, yeah, I've been to, yeah, because f- I've got family in America, so we've been Have you ever times. had f- unbelievable too? I've had, we've had it once where we were trying to, it was a, a I think it was an internal flight in America. <clears throat> this is only about five years ago. And um, we were going up and out, and no, as we were trying to land, we were coming in, yeah. and you get low back, back to sort of cloud level, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden, it just went black. It was daytime, it just went black, and you look out the side, and we were in a storm. <gasps> the clouds were so dark Fork that it was literally it like, there was no light in the, in the plane anymore. And we'd circle out of it, come round, and you'd see like the lightning going down into the sea and all that. Shit. And we we're like, we've got to circle around again. So they circled back around it again, this time sort of like up and, I don't even know how they did it, up over and round the storm Fuck and then landed in that way. But the, the, just, we drove, and then obviously massive turbulence while you're doing it. But just, I tell you what, one time actually. This, this was good. This wasn't turbulence. But this was when I was a kid. I was terrified of flying after you know yeah, yeah, 9/11 yeah, 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 and all yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> they really did a number. Oh, on us. I wasn't laughing at the 9/11. Obviously, I was laughing at you being scared as a kid. I wasn't. Why are you laughing at that? I wasn't laughing at 9/11. I just. Do you think it's funny what they did? <laughs> no. They don't stand and put something on me. Three thousand people died, and you're laughing. That's rounded up, though, isn't it? Put the camera away from me. What do you mean? It's, what do you mean it's rounded up? Well, it wasn't bang on three thousand, was it? I think it was. Oh right. It's like two thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven, but then three if you include the perpetrators. So not laughing now, are you? Ethan, put the camera on you for a minute. Right. So after that, I got a little bit spooked. But after nine eleven, you were scared of flying. <laughs> yes. So this was two thousand and three. I've had four years to cool off, but I can't get it out of my head. Well, no, you've only had a year. Two years. Oh, two years, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Tell no, me te- no wonder you were scared. I oh, know, I thought it was even further away, but it wasn't. And, I, and we went through going to Malta for the Gary Neville soccer school. Me and my dad. What? He got it free with work because he worked for the newspaper. Yeah. So we, we, got to, we had to review it, but then I could go and do the Gary yeah, Neville Gary soccer Neville school. Gary Neville had a soccer school in Malta? Yes. We got a ticket. Wow. Yeah. So we went, and I refused to get on the plane. I was like running around the airport, dad trying to catch me, everyone like diving after me. Really? Like dodging people, <laughs> running around. No, get on. No. And they were like, final call, Martin Smith and Joseph Smith. He's like, you fucking just get on the plane. And he was like, he's like, I'll buy you some predators if you get on the plane. A predator? Not a sex predator, oh like a, the God. football boots. This football boots called Adidas yeah, Predators. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I was oh, like, yeah. I went, there's a pair of predators on that plane if you don't. <laughs> I would have fucking run away as well. <laughs> and I ran away, I did. And they went, I'll buy some predators if you get on the plane. I went, you what? What? Really? Straight on. Did you? Straight on? No more. That. Oh, no go more on then, that. Dad. What you like? Oh, I love that. It's great. Did you ever, are you ever scared of flying, Ethan? Uh, as I just told you, yep, I am terrified. No, I mean, of like, have you had enough turbulence, sorry? Oh, yeah, I remember. I was coming back well, from. Well, they did a... spend New Year's Eve with Manisha, so I think there might be some turbulence there. Oh. I didn't spend New Year's. Carry on, even. tell you to. Oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah, uh, went, went on a lad's holiday, and on the way back, the plane was coming to, to land, and then he just decided he didn't want to. Really? Oh. He, just, he just spun around. That's what happens holiday. with the plane. Sometimes they fight back. Um, yeah, the few times they do fuck. No, you not really. You must have some turbulence. No. I'm all, I'm all gliding. All glide, no turbulence. Interesting. <laughs> what about some turbulence up here? Uh, plenty. So, New Year's Eve was good fun, was it, in Dublin? Yeah, great. Went out for an Indian. Monty's of Kathmandu. Wow. Had the uh, had the mixed grill. Lovely, lovely time in there. Uh, then we went to a place uh, called something else. Yeah. Had a Guinness. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic time. And, and then, then the next, the the New Year's the Day was the big day. The, what? Because I don't like New Year's Eve. I told you already. Yeah, I get yeah, upset. Yeah, yeah. I get nervous. Yeah. I get old anxiety. Where I'm <laughs> anxious leading up to it. I hate it. Uh, so that was a bit of a write-off. Uh, and the New did Year's you, did Day... You, did you go to, what time did you go to bed at? Half 12. Fuck it, hell. Just need to stay I around. I stayed up, counted down from 10. I thought there was a terror threat on the pub we were in. 
What do you mean? Because, <laughs> because about five minutes before midnight, all the waiting staff went behind the bar. It was quite big and there was like a restaurant upstairs. Yeah. All of a sudden, there's, there's like 12 people behind this bar and they're all looking around at this. Really nervous. Then the bouncer, no, the, the guy who looked like the most manager came out, locked the door. He was like, right, I've, I've, I'm going to lock the door. And yeah, he locked the door. Because that's to stop letting people in. I didn't know that. I was, I was saying to Lizzie, there's going to be, a, there's a bomb. There's a fucking There's a terror bomb. attack going on. Jesus. Something's happened. Or they think there's someone's, they think someone's untrustworthy in here. Who is it? I thought it was going to be like Knives Out. Probably shouldn't have watched Knives Out the day before, actually. I thought there was going to be a murder mystery going on. So then, when all the like, party poppers went off at Don't midnight, you thought they were fucking gunshots, did you? Yeah. Get down, Lizzie! My, underneath I'll, the desk! I'll be honest, my head's still there. Oh, I right. left it there. New Year's Day, though. Wow. What about yeah. your New Year's Eve? Uh, New Year's Eve was great. We went to... Um, well, United played midday, so... Mm. Had a, went to the pub on mid, uh, midday and then I just carried on drinking from then on. Me and uh, Becky took the dog to on a pub crawl. We took him to Basque, which is wonderful in Stockport. There's Dr. Feelgoods, there's another pub I forgot. So we went on a pub crawl with the dog. Just the three. Loving it, life. Yeah, loving life. Just the three of us. No, just the three pubs. Just the, I don't know, there's a couple more, but it gets a bit blurry. Then around, then me and Becky had a, a DJ off in the kitchen to try and rev us up. We were lacking energy. So is it just you two? Yeah. And the dog? Yeah. And you were DJing? We were DJing. We would pick a, right, so it's like a DJ battle. We're in the kitchen. We had espresso martinis. Do you know you have a go at me for trying to like spruce up the relationship with Joe Smith Appreciation Day? Yeah, but we. And we your New Year's all, Eve having no, a DJ sorry. off. I'm sorry, we weren't. This wasn't planned months in advance. This was. Ad-lib. Oh, sorry, yeah. What New this Year's Eve ad-lib. just stumbled across it, did you? This was ad lib. Let's have a DJ. So you get spot a five one tune. I get spot a five one tune. Three rounds, best out three wins. Who who's Boom. who are the judges? Free from dis- who are the judges? You have to be. You have to just. For, you have to play fair. And books the decider. Night, yeah, it went for 80s, 90s, then indie classic. So then I, I think she won 2 1. I gave her Yazoo. Did you uh, give her any of, the, any of the money you got for uh, DJ in the supermarket in Bristol? No, I didn't. Because technically she's the superior no, DJ. Didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, we, made, we tried to make our own espresso martinis with our coffee machine. We basically made a black coffee with a shot of vodka in it. Fucking hell, that was rough. <laughs> So then, because the thing is, because we've had such a long day, we're kind of so coming, shit. because we're coming. So, so it's you and your girlfriend at home DJing to a, a, a crowd of non. But we loved it. Book was fucking buzzing. Drinking coffee, like, and vi- coffee and vodka. <laughs> this is the most like, no, we were about again. to go to Cowboy the pub. New Year's Eve. We were about to go to the pub. So we were like, right, we need to get ourselves. We need to we'll look live. Yeah, yeah. Get so, so let's get an espresso martini on the go. And let's do like a little, da- so we put some tunes on, dance, and it was great. Get to the pub and we had a drink and we realised that this is quite a large, you know, ahead of us here is quite a big task. How about in about half an hour's time after this drink, we what time go, is it? this is about nine o'clock. Okay. We go into the Chinese, we got some Chinese, go home and watch it on TV. Then we bump into some friends, which was probably the... What, the, Ross and Chandler? The, uh, Ricky, who runs the uh, burger place in you the... You uh, Gunther? No, I'm not thinking of Gunther. Ricky runs the burger place in the pub. Anyway, persuaded us to stay out. We were out till God knows when. Oh. But there's an incredible video, and I don't know if I can share it or not, but I've got, I'll have got. i show it to you because... We have to. I, no, I just don't know if this woman... If, if, we, if, we, if I have this woman's permission. So essentially, the countdown... For 10 seconds, I start filming it on Becky's phone. We're all in the pub, we're ready. We're in a big group now, there's loads of us. Great. 10, 9, eight, boom, happy new year. And what I do is I jump up and we party popper. And I'm still filming and I turn my phone to this woman because I'm trying to speak to Becky. So you can imagine my phone is now tilted. I don't know who I'm filming, by the way. I'm just still filming. My phone is now tilted and I say to Becky, I love you. Like that, I give her a kiss. But it looks like... On the video that I turned to this old woman and go, I really love you. Is that a lot? <laughs> yeah. Where's my Where's my phone? Let me try and find you this. You'll love it. Did she say anything back? Did she no. hear you? No. The old woman doesn't know. Doesn't 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 see it. Right. The old woman like, she lives in a shoe or something. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four.
know. She just, she's just there. And I just turned to her and said, love you. But it, obviously I'm speaking to Becky, but I'm still filming. That's the look of a woman who's just been told that Joe <laughs> Madonna loves was, her. <laughs> So I don't know. Who Actually, we probably in. we probably should blur it out. Yeah, that's Let, what I mean. Let's blur that. Yeah. Put the video in, but just blur her face blur, out. Oh, no, he's not funny about the video. You've got to put the video in. But I can't just blur out a random woman's face. Of course you can. Okay, well, it's a random woman's face. Um, so then, wow. so then, by that point, about half midnight, I'm so drunk and um, the landlord. I love you. Landlord says, "Do you fancy hopping on for an hour?" DJ in so is thought, on the deck. So oh, the decks. Yeah, go on then. I go up to the DJ thing. I can't see what I'm typing. In it, in it. What would you say sexism that even despite the very same day Becky winning a DJing contest, you're the one that gets invited up? Yeah, because to do it she's not a, a plates. professional DJ. How did you lose to her then? Imagine Tiesto just, losing it, it to his wife. A, it was probably just a nice, you know. It was just probably me giving her the benefit of the doubt. You're saying that you, you yeah, went easy. Yeah, if it was to do it again, I probably wouldn't. So I couldn't really see the screen. I'm that drunk. But luckily, Abba is only two letters and it's twice. So I went Abba. Abba. Anyway, so Abba, look at Abba, I'm fucking, honestly, I'm so pissed at this point. I managed to put Abba on one of the decks. But then, as I'm trying to figure out how the decks work, they aren't mine. I accidentally stopped the song that's playing. Oh, it's no. Gone, Fuck. And I just hit play on Abba straight away. And then Steve was like, you're a bit pissed, aren't you? I said, yeah, I'm coming off here, Steve. <laughs> so crap. one song I into an hour DJ set. And that's it. But I'm so thankful. If I was there for an hour, I, could, I, 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 I don't know what would happen. <laughs> What would be the worst that could happen? Just you ruined that woman's New Year's yeah, Eve more than you already have by declaring your love for her. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Ethan, your New Year's Eve, what did you do? Um, oh, well, I was just uh, hanging around at home having a having a bit of a nap. And then I heard a bit of a, a bit of a I got in trouble the other day because I got this word wrong. A ruckus. Is that, is that how you say ruckus. it? Oh, yeah. I? So a bit of a ruckus going on. So I was a bit like Oh, what's what's going on? I stumble into the kitchen, and my housemate has all his his buddies around. So I thought, nice. well, I guess these are my plans for the night. So met some new people, had a, some pizza, had some gin, and uh, did you like them? Yeah, what, what, lov lovely bunch. Did you, did you kiss them on midnight? Who did you kiss first? I just hugged um, a man. I can't remember his name, but it was nice to meet him at the time. That's for sure. Start off the year. Nice fashion. So, what time did you go through into the kitchen to to see these people? Oh well, I, I was having a bit of a uh, maybe a three hour nap, so maybe around like eight pm or whatever. Right, so we're eight pm on New Year's Eve, until there just happened to be a party in your in your living room. You, what were your plans otherwise? What if you went in there and, and it was empty? What would you have done? I just hadn't really made any plans at all. I just thought I'd see what Mother Nature gives us, and I just oh, ended up ended up like just uh, rocking up in there and hanging out with the gang. I was up till half two, and then I, the, the music cut out at about 8 a.m. And then, yeah, quite long, isn't it? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These boys were partying in your kitchen till 8 a.m.? Yeah, till 8 a.m., and I just, I just stumbled into the kitchen, what? and I just saw them all Who just- Who were they? You were like, have they been baking? Who well, were they? They were just all just having a, a like there was a few laid down on the on the floor and a, a few on the sofa. They were just they were just completely wankered. Um they were just uh, my housemate's friends, Drew. So the music was still on but they weren't up. Well, the music cut out at eight AM but they were up until eight AM, that's what they told me. Party animals, eh? Why did you go to bed early? Well, I don't remember going to bed. Um I think someone sat in my seat and I just went I, I went to my room and then... Someone sat in your seat? Yeah, and I just thought, oh, I'd, I'd quite fancy sitting down and someone oh, sat in my seat, so I'll go sit in my bed for a bit. Yeah. And next thing I know, I'm waking up at like 7 a.m., still hearing a bit of noise, and then they told me that they stopped at 8. Something about that is one of the saddest things I've ever oh. heard, that story. Three very different New Year's Eves, just, isn't it? Just, there just happened to be a party in your house, otherwise you would have just spent it, what, at home by yourself? Yeah. What? What? Where's Manisha in all of this? Why don't you see her? Ah, uh, she's uh, she's in London, just uh, hanging out there with the with the fam. Could you, could you not have convinced her to say like you know come up to yours for New Year's Eve? It's complicated. What just, were the train strikes? Yeah, there were train strikes actually. Train all trains on New Year's is the. I say. I don't know what's going on here, but Ethan's gone weird. Um. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone very weird, hasn't it? It's Why do you do weird. that? 
Oh, I should have probably done someone else, I guess. It was quite nice, though. I had a good time. Met new people. Um, one of them was convinced that we should go out a lot more next year after I just met him for the first time. And I was like, all right. And he's like, we'll be going 42s a lot, Ethan. And I was like, well, looks like a great 2023 for me. He doesn't believe anything he's just said there, does he? he? I think he hates these people. Yeah, do, don't you, Ethan? Just fucking say it. They don't watch the pod. Just admit it. No, I, it was uh, lovely to meet some new guys. He's so fucking... Why is he becoming like a member of parliament? And he's so fucking... Because what he's done is... He's, broke, he's broken too many eggs along the way. And now he's just become this sort of feeble, frozen statue of a man. If it can't dis- display any sort of negative feeling towards anyone. If it wasn't for them, I would have had no one. So I guess I'm just really grateful. So, <coughs> Ethan, now you've reflected on, on 2022, what were some of your finest achievements of the year? Um, got a girlfriend. Made a podcast. Got a job. Started working. Fucking well, one year for him, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great year. 2022 has been good for you, hasn't it? The best year of your life, do you think? I'd say probably definitely up there. Obviously, I have to bear in mind global struggles. Do you? <laughs> what, do you what do you mean? Glo- what, the war in Ukraine? Is that because it made your <laughs> petrol prices go up and your driving lessons cost more? What do you mean you have to bear in global mind global struggles? struggles? What do you mean by that, Ethan? <laughs> Cut to your camera and explain yourself. <laughs> it just fucking kills me. What do you mean oh, you have to take into account global struggles? Struggle. You, you have to take into global, global just, struggles. We, we, obviously, my happiness is important, but I, I have to think of the planet as well. So the petrol prices, he's saying. It's incredible, isn't it? It's not. Well, very different different years that we've had. Well, here's 2023. Yeah. Is 2023. I love running, by the way. We're going to do more, yeah? Yeah, we'll do more running, definitely. Definitely. Um, also, I'm doing so, uh, Sober October. I just want to say that. Sober... Uh, 10 years in it. 10 no, months in advance. Sorry. sorry, I'm doing... Actually, I won't say what I'm doing because... Dry January. No, because if I say on the pod, it's cursed. You said it. No, I didn't say it. Did I say it, Ethan? I think you did say no. you were. You, you did. So you're doing Dry January? No comment. <laughs> Is this? I, I, the slobby just does curse it. means that if I say anything on this pod, it just comes untrue straight away. It's you, but it's up to you. It's th- that is also so true. <laughs> but I like a bit of backing. You know, I've got to have it at all. Oh, I've got to have bacon, as ma- but yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed bacon. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. The the, uh, the, the more, like the, what they call the loins. No? <laughs> they call the loins, yeah. yeah. The bacon. No, it's not called bacon loins, is it? Mandolins. What are you saying? Bacon, That's a mandolin, guitar, bacon. guitar, you fucker. What's it called? The bacon bits that are like more healthy food, but they're called like a mandolin. Come on, Joe, you're healthy. If only either of you had a fucking computer in front of you and you could Google it. Anyway, so you, you're eating a lot of bacon and you're, not, you're trying not to... <laughs> I'm, not tr- I'm not eating a lot... Medallions. Mandolin. <laughs> well, there's many mandolins. The Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah, bacon yeah. Mandalorians. Oh, anyway. Oh, right, oh, 9 out of 10 club. Yes, lads. I'm so ready for this one. It's our proper first one of 2023. It's a big one. Do you know what? The ball's it's, in your court. It's my court. turn, right? And I'm just going to get straight into this. Make sure you check out the Sloppy Joe's Patreon, where the top sloppers unite to get all of the best Sloppy Joe's content. What extras do you get? Great question. Extra podcasts, live podcasts, behind the scenes videos. You also get early access to all of our podcasts and the very special Sloppy Joe's feature where Joe McGrath tells you about times that he has pooed himself. There's only one way to describe it. He shits himself all the time. If you want to be the ultimate slopper, check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast. As you can see there, the link is in the description for all of that extra stuff. The slop mamas, the slop daddies, the slop goblins, yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Slop Shop. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast for the ultimate sloppy experience. I realized that Oh, shit. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you know what you said? When you said stuff on the podcast, it ends up not coming true. Yeah. Man, I'll take up this week. It's Guinness. It's Guinness. <laughs>
I can't. I, 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 I can't have a bit. Of course you can. Well, I'm not having a bit of Guinness. You have to. I'm not. You don't not. count if it's if it's on. No, a I'm not. I'm generally not having Guinness. Why? Oh, what's this mad combination here? It's got to go. Let it drip in like that. I thought you got to like let it settle for a little bit. Yeah, you do. Pour it first. Let me talk you through Guinness. I, I, Guinness at this time of year in is the perfect drink. It's fantastic. I obviously had loads of it in, in Dublin, where it's probably at its peak. But it's great. It is just great everywhere. And I've realised there's not been a single alcoholic item brought forward for the 9 out of 10 club. And I think there's no better place yeah. to start it than Guinness, which is, look at the visual on that, if nothing else. The thing, the Visually thing that I'm worried about here is we're going to upset a lot of people if Guinness doesn't get in. Yeah. So just do the right thing, dickhead. I went to Dublin in de December. I had one of the best days of my life. Had a Guinness. So I'm going to use that for that memory. And it was nice. Do you know what I'm getting? Do you know what's winding up a little bit about Guinness? It's becoming quite a popular drink, isn't it? But not like, not like in terms of sales. I mean, like all oh, the popular kids drink Guinness now, don't they? Yeah. And they've all got to look at the cream and they're all splitting the G. Yeah. Just fucking drink it. No, I agree with that. It's become a bit of a, uh, a cool thing to drink. Mm -hmm. Whereas it's always been popular. Gin went through that phase did, did a, a, a few years ago. What else is going through that phase? Well, There's pale ales were there, but mm. then they've gone now, and I think Guinness is really ruling yeah. the way. No, you're right. The I baby like Guinness a, as well. Just like a I'm just going to have a nice swig of Guinness. Ethan, come around here then. I mean, I'm okay. You can have my sip if you want, Joe. Are you sure? What is Guinness going to do to you now on a day like today? I have no idea. Because my you've body, had my, all I, sorts I, I, in I've you. done, what was it, 17,000 steps already today? Yeah. My body has done so much work today. That is fucking fantastic, that. That is fantastic, that, as a drink. Honestly, have another. Have two more. Have a mouthful that contains two swallows. So do like a gulp, gulp, one and one more. How's that? He knows what he's, so you know what Guinness tastes like. I don't need to make you taste yeah. it. It's <coughs> it's f just phenomenal. You can it get it everywhere. It's, it's by far the best thing you can get in every pub. Because the other options are. Would you not like a nice lager? I don't mind a lager. I don't. There's nothing what, nice like a nice crisp. Lager. I think that just tops it a little bit more for Guinness for me. And oh, what is so the so what is the cream on top? It's not real cream. It's just froth like you get on any beer. Did you so think why it was cream? Do, no, but why do people call it cream? Because it I think it's like thicker and denser than oh, most, okay. isn't it? Ethan, you right, mate? Did you what? think there was actual cream on Guinness? Oh did it, but <laughs> I was like, why do people call it cream? Of course I've not seen it before. <laughs> Ethan. Well, I think Guinness is by far the most sexy, sexiest looking of the drinks. It is. It, you know, it's, it's a very sexy looking Visually drink. Visually incredible, that, isn't it? Look at that. Black, white, perfect. It's actually, if you've gone to the Guinness factory in Dublin, they say it's actually red. What? It's red. If you look through it, it's red. Now, there's about 40 red lights in this, in this room, so it hardly counts. I'm looking at that now. It's not, is it? I... If you hold up to a light there, in the Guinness factory, they make you hold the, the pine up and go, look, it's actually red. Yeah, but if you hold your finger up to a light, it goes red. What? But it's pink. My it finger's doesn't. pink. Anyway, anyway go on. Sorry. sorry. The <laughs> classic red and white Guinness. Go on then, Ethan. And it's it's so smooth. It's yeah. so... It's, 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 it's a little bit heavier. It's nice. It can almost replace a meal, um, mm -hmm. which is good meal. as well. Um, Especially if it's uh, your mate Andy. Yes, exactly. My my mate Andy. It's it's a lovely Guinness. It's sorry, I love Guinness. <laughs> I'm gonna raise something there that you didn't want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, I love I love I love Guinness. Um, you you moving past that? Yeah. Um, and uh, it's it's fantastic. It's it's a nine out of ten drink for me. It is. Oh, lovely. Do you know what? It's two out of three. Yeah, I'm gonna give it in the nine out of ten. Why? Well. What's up with you? Because I don't want to Where cause a you diplomatic gone, incident. You, you. So you're putting. You it in. brought alcohol, knowing that I'm doing dry January. I didn't know you were doing dry January until today. I'm not doing dry January, by the way. So have a sip then. Nah. No. Why not? I'm allergic to Guinness. You said you had it. <coughs> yeah, do you know what? It's nice. It's nice. You don't think it's nine out of ten? Nah, it's not nine. It is nine out of ten. If you like it, it is. <laughs> What's going on? What's happening here is we're not putting it in because Joe thinks no, it's no, in no, 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 we are he putting it in. He can't bring himself to it. We are putting it in. It's not going no, in. No, we are, we are. It's, it's in, I love it. Oh. 
This is a this is. A I real like shame, it. Man. I like it. I don't want to cause a diplomatic incident. There's no diplomatic incident. There would be. We'll get I've it said in the yes. Just for the, just for the record, I've said yes. No, no, no. Ethan said yes, and Joe McGraw, Joe as we can yes. all see. Is saying no. So no, Guinness no, no. does not make it in to the nine out of ten club. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, said no, and that on. is the end no, of the not, feature. No, it's not. It's not because the I'm feature. Sorry to everyone who likes Guinness. Don't know if there's people who like it or not. But the if feature there is, moving into 2023, Joe, is in a new direction, as yeah. we mentioned in a meeting before. Um, <laughs> the nine out of ten club. Do you want to explain what we want? People well, the nine out of ten club is opening its doors. For the first time ever. Yes. We want... Second time. For the second time ever. Should we? We want your 9 out of 10 clubs, right? So we're going to do a post every single week on the Patreon, on social media, where you can write your foods, drinks that you deem 9 out of 10, and we will review yep. your 9 out of 10. If you can send us a video as well, yeah. that would work. Video, audio, voice recording, text, why you love it so much. You have to tell us why you love it and what it is that's going in. And we will review it for you. Instead of us bringing in something we love every week, which is great, and we'll keep doing that, we want to hear your 9 out of 10s. So, also as well, we said that two... So get them in the comments as well. What is your 9 out of 10 club? Two out of three scores, votes for me, for us three able to get it in, one yeah. two out of three. Yeah. So technically, if you want to start now, Guinness is in. Well, no, because... That would be under the Round assumption that someone at home. <laughs> Fortunately, it has to be unanimous at this stage, and Guinness hasn't gone in. Guinness has gone in. We've got a few emails, haven't we? Yeah, we're looking for people's weird and wonderful jobs. After last week, we said that we want to see if there's a scientist, a member of parliament, a footballer listening. So people have been emailing in, and this is, has been wonderful to read some, so many emails. And the comment section on YouTube, we had a biologist. No. We did? Any proof? biologist? I don't know, I asked him, what do you do? And he and he's not replied yet, but I'll take his word for it. <laughs> so how do you know he's a biologist then? He said I'm a biologist. Who says that if they're not? That's a good point, yeah. Uh, Liam Hammond has look, messaged look, us. There's no me mechanism by which people can say something that's not true. <laughs> Liam Hammond messaged us, says, hi, Jojo and Ethan. I'm Liam, originally from Cheshire, but backpacking in Australia at a minute. Ooh. I've got a job putting up Christmas trees in Melbourne, and I'm in the process now of taking them all down. Oh, I've done hell. loads of trees for companies, brands, and sports teams. So his job, Liam, is to put trees up and then take them down. That's a weird job, isn't it? That is weird, especially in Melbourne. It's always like 40 degrees over Christmas. It's their summer now, isn't it? It is. That's horrendous, that. Uh, another one, Scientist by Connor Barker. That's the uh, the it's subject. Like this by Culp. Oh, yeah. oh, same sorry. joke. No, oh, sorry. Right. Two balloons making the same joke. <coughs> Hi, Joe's and Ethan. When I heard Joe Smith's suggestion, <laughs> there's no way a scientist watches this. I had to get in touch. I am both a scientist and a listener to the podcast. Wow. <laughs> this is impossible, though, isn't it? I just finished my PhD. This is this, now. This is where the, someone whose words here have absolutely spun my head. I've just finished doing an astro. For me, for minutes, he just finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh to... no, I know that's an easy word. Atmospheric. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I think I'm slow. I can't really. Words get muddled in my head. Words get muddled in my head. Astrophenics. So I'm a doctor, but not a proper Fuck medical no. one. I am currently working a research technician in bioimaging using super resolution microscope. Oops. Uh, loving the podcast. I often listen in the lab doing measurements. Oh, what on? Oof. If you want proof that I'm a scientist, here's a paper that I published. Wow. Joe Smith, without just just taking a, just reading this first time, yeah. have a go at reading out the name of his paper that he wrote. Okay. I've highlighted it for you. Okay. Go for that. In situ sol gel synthesis of unique silica structures using airborne assembly, colon, implications for in-air reactive manufacturing. What Fuck you, me. What do you think that means, Ethan? Um, if you don't mind, Joe, could you say it once more? For fuck's sake. Fucking hell. In situ... Are you not listening again? I was, I was. He doesn't listen. He no, doesn't listen. I do, he did I this do. before. I asked him a question when we went out for some food, and he went, sorry, Joe, I wasn't listening to that. It's so blatant. Uh, sorry, once more, if you don't mind. In situ, sol gel synthesis of unique silica structures using airborne assembly. Implications for in-air reactive manufacturing. Um, I, I, I think it's... Um, I was thinking something to do with... With 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 plants, or maybe it's making things out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
There's a football look. You shaved it. Uh, Here's another one. Just put a handle on it. There's a mug I've made out of there. There you go. You can have that. Uh, is the one it. from Seamus Williams in response to Ethan wanting to know if any members of parliament watch no. slash listening fuck no <laughs> <laughs> fuck off now listen listen go with it I would like to say that sadly I'm not a member of parliament yet hope to be one one day however I am an elected Labour Borough Councillor in my hometown of Watford where I am the youngest in the town's history. Wow. While it's, not, old. while it's not as grand as being uh, in the House of Commons, it might be the closest you'll get. Uh, so uh, That's pretty good. Yeah, below is the link to my attendance record as evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool. one day, Seamus might be an MP. Imagine, <laughs> be. Imagine that. That's Imagine crazy, when we've got it? sway inside the Labour Party. Was that Labour, by the way? Yeah. Wow, that's not bad, is it, Ethan? You've got to take that. Uh, that's fantastic, yeah. Labour Thank you Council very much. Labour Council member. Oof. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Love that. And we'll read out some more emails later on. We've got a couple of minutes maybe for an Ask Ethan. Yeah. I've got some. Ethan, what I want to know is, who is your hero? Oh, that's a really good question. I don't know if I really have many heroes. You've just got to make one up, I guess. For the I really... I just think who it would be. Who Who is it that... If you ever need to sort of dig deep when you're thinking about your life decisions or in a moment of, of, of worry or terror, who is it that comes to mind that sort of brings you through that? Probably um, Johan Kabai. <laughs> Who's Johan Kabai? <laughs> he um, was this, this, probably the star player, actually. I'd say the best player in the 2012 Newcastle team that finished fifth under Alan Pardew. Yeah. Um, I once <laughs> met Johan Kabai. Well, um, how did it go? I was... Um, a ball boy for a Newcastle game and I handed him the ball and the sun was right behind his head and I looked up to him and he smiled and he nodded to me and he went, thanks. And he took the throw in. We ended up losing 2-1 at home to Redden. And we, um, that's followed, that was the season after the one we finished fifth and we just avoided <laughs> relegation. Fucking hell. Was there a part of you that, when he looked down and he said thank you, mm. it felt like he was saying thanks for more than just you handing him the ball and maybe he was saying thank you for well, those years of adoration. Can I just say, I don't think we've digged down into the fact that Ethan was a ball boy for Newcastle United. How many times? Well, uh, a, f a few times. Uh, one occasion, um, it was Newcastle United against Aston Villa and Mike Williamson kicked the ball and he sliced it and it went flying across and it bounced off the floor and took a ricochet and I went to catch it and I fell over the advertisement board wire <laughs> and I fell on my arse and uh, about maybe 50,000 people all went way and that oh was a bit God. and I remember going in, I remember going into school the next day and I was going well, that was the ball boy and uh, this happened and they all went fuck off that was you <laughs> that was you I was like yeah everyone saw us fall over no wonder you are the person you are. You got jeered and laughed at by 50,000 people at once. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's formative, that. isn't it? That's so wild. Jesus Poor Christ. Ethan. Poor Ethan James. Ethan, you, you also said in, in, in the meeting you were going to give us some questions to ask you. But I feel like you, you've, over the Christmas period, have stumbled upon stories in your head that you'd like to share with the pod. Uh, maybe we could just get one of them now, if possible. Um, I don't really remember having this conversation with you, you did, before. You did, and then you also said, "I'm gonna, yeah." And then you mentioned something about haggis. Oh, and then okay. There's also stuff going on. I think that you want to just well, get off your chest. This really. can be this can be part one of um, part two. We'll do part two next week. So, um, haggis is quite a big part of my life, and um, that might surprise you. Um, during lockdown, uh, me and my housemates started creating haggis dishes. Uh, in the hope that we would create a haggis company. Um, so what we started doing was um, we, we made things such as like <clears throat> haggaroni cheese, which is haggis and macaroni cheese. Jesus. Hag ball. Which Can I is, guess what that one is? <laughs> yep. Is that haggis and spag ball by any chance? That is absolutely correct, but the haggis inst is instead of the, the, the beef. Sounds fucking uh, disgusting. We, we had uh, haggis. You know what haggis is? Oh, yes. Because he knows what fucking haggis is. He's got his own haggis company. Oh, You're asking the wrong man. Yeah, but do you know what it's made of? Yeah, yeah. Go like on. um I, I, th I think like uh, sheep intestine and um, other Jeez. bits and bobs, blood. And it's like boiled in like a bag. Um, and I, I remember my stepdad for... Actually, for just stop me there. I thought you'd know way more about what a haggis actually is than sheep intestines, other bits and bobs and blood. <laughs> and it's boiled in the bag. Boiled in the bag, like... 
Uncle, Uncle Ben's rice. What did your stepdad say? My stepdad for um, Christmas made me a homemade haggis board where we would serve the haggis to the house. Just, it just, also... Let's, let's just sit that. What so, on pa- earth? so part two, which I'll save for, for next week, and I'll probably need to get some signatures signed in this off. Um, we, 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 we had a, a, a mop um, at university um, called the Wee Haggis. And the mop was a, a really good addition to the house. We used to do everything with the wee haggis. We used to take them everywhere. And it got to the point where we made a poem about them and almost like a music video, um, which is a few minutes long, which I might share if you're, if you're interested. Um, I think I'm interested. I think he wants, definitely wants us to, to share it. Yeah, we'll that, share that, that. That does bring... So what is it, a music video about a mop? Called the wee haggis. We used to do everything with the wee haggis. It was when a you poem. say we, was it just you and a mop? So I, I and most of your uni- university career was you making friends with like a mop. Is this like some sort of yeah? Is, was is it your an best friend? mate actually a mop? And if this was a film, you know the be- you know, the mop would be represented by a real person, but the twist at the end would be the real person was never there. It was the mop all along. Well, he he was the only one who turned up to the New Year's Eve celebrations out of those who I invited. Oh, so, so what else was your mate? Hag hag ball, haggis pizza, hag ball, haggis pie, um, just ha- haggaroni cheese, as I oh, said. Yeah, 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 yeah. um, Hagball, by any chance? Sometimes just haggis neeps and tatties, uh, an old favourite. We used to read the poem by um, uh, what's he called, uh, Mr. Burns, um, about uh, addressed uh, addressed to the haggis. Mr. Burns. Uh, what's he? Robert Burns. Sorry. <laughs> Not from The Simpsons, no. <laughs> no, R- Robert Burns used to read Addressed to the Haggis and just uh, serenade the haggis with love before we ate it. Wonderful. Right, well, I think we'll leave that, He's leave that mad, there. That, isn't it? That's um, mad, that one. Because we've got some news. What? We're going to be trying, we're going to be trying, we're going to be doing another episode on this YouTube channel every single week. Oh. It's not going to be as long. It's going to be our headlines. We're going to be scouring the internet yeah. for the best and weird headlines that we could possibly find. We each bring one to the table that we think is the best of the week. We talk about the story. We get into a little bit of debate. It's going to be a brand new episode landing on this YouTube channel for you all to see. So these, well, this is that. that that's something to look forward it's to. more Sloppy Joes for your money, and the money is free. Also, we're looking for an intern as well. If mm. someone wants to be part of the Sloppy Joes team, mm. you've got to be a good editor, uh, video editor. You've got to be good at just chilling out with us. You've got to be good at rubbing Ethan's back. And, you, and, and washing you can, Joes. No, I can do my own, mm. like a Sunday. Uh, you can even do it remotely, or you can pop in and be part of the recording. Please, Sloppy Joe's podcast at gmail.com for all your email needs. Yeah, so we're looking in, primarily for a in. video editor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's all we're looking someone for. Someone who's funny. You don't have to be funny, I just be a laugh video about editor. 9-11. Mm. Maybe cut that. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the Sloppy Joe's podcast. If you haven't already, check out our Patreon. We've got more exclusive content going up there very soon. We're going to be doing a come down at Joe's house. Yeah, I've got to spend 24 hours in McDonald's. That's both happening this month. So make sure you check that out. Uh, uh, Patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast. Thank you, uh, Joe McGrath. Happy New Year. Really happy you. New Year, everyone. Thank see you, you Ethan James. Bye. See you in a bit. Wave Ethan, please. Oh. Uh, see you later, everyone. Bye. Bye.